All right, thanks, Justin, for that. Like you just mentioned, you guys, extreme heat is no joke. Now, according to the CDC, more than 600 people in the U.S. are killed by extreme heat every year. It causes more deaths than any other weather related event, more than hurricanes, tornadoes or even flooding. Now, those most at risk of developing a heat related illness are the elderly, people with chronic medical conditions, outdoor workers, infants and children, athletes and people in low income households. Now, what you wear and what you eat can affect affect how your body handles the extreme heat events. So here's some do's and don'ts to remember when it gets this hot. Take a look at this here. First, think twice before ordering a burger and fries for lunch. Something light like a salad will be much easier for your body to digest when it's already dealing with heat stress. Pick an outfit that is loose fitting and light colored. Dark clothing is only going to absorb heat from the sun. And also, don't exercise outside. Either move your routine inside or take a couple of days off. Who won't like that? Say you're exercising out in the heat, you're going to lose a lot more water and a lot more electrolytes than normal. And if you lose your electrolytes, say your potassium gets too low and your electrolytes are out of balance, that can cause cramping. That can also cause um, confusion, mental fatigue. You heard it there, some very important information. Another piece of advice, don't sit directly in front of a fan when the temps get above 90 degrees. You may not know this, but dry blowing air can lead to faster dehydration, putting you at risk for a heat stroke.